Hi, and welcome in this video. Today I will show you some tips and tricks to use with Forrester in Cinema 4D. So, I created this, uh, this video on Facebook and uh, lots of people say, wow, it's beautiful, etc, etc. So, I hope you like it. And I will show you how to use this Forrester to create this kind of tree um, with some tricks. So, I will use Cinema uh, Octane Wonder in Cinema 4D and uh, the, the tips I will show you for the textures is uh, okay for physical render and stored render uh, in Cinema 4D. So, let's start and go in Cinema 4D. So, uh, the first thing that you have to do is to create your uh, first tree. So, go in Forester and load your Forester tree. When you do that, you have a base tree but no material. So, it's very important to have the first selection of uh, Forester, a selection for the trunk, for the branch and for the leaf. So, go in tree library and select the tree you want. Here I use the default tree, it's exactly the same, but if I double click on it, I have my material selection. The material that you see, see here is very, very basic. Uh, here it is just a gray co um, green color. Uh, so you uh, totally have to rework this uh, material. You will find all your material in the plugin Forester. So click here. Nope. Click here. Nope. Click here and go in your computer. Win E. Past. Okay. And now I. Bon, so go manually, program, uh, prog, cinema, kd, plugin, forester, res, textures. Okay, here we have all the, all the texture of the plugin. So we will use the bark, uh, this one. Okay, now uh, I will trick, I will modelize, I will design my tree uh, to have a spherical tree. So, to uh, have a spherical tree, you have to have a big, big, big trunk, very height. So, go in forester tree, go in trunk parameters, and we have here trunk height, and <whistles> magnifique. It's awesome. Now I have want to have uh, it. Uh, I want to bend it, so I just have to go in the option bend the trunk, and I have to bend it. You can go in a bigger value than uh, this one if you write it. Okay, you can. Now it I hit N then B, without moving my mouse. You can see the polygon count, and here we have very very low polygon count and it's very ugly. I think it's um, important to have uh, a nice distribution of polygons so I will increase the trunk, uh, trunk, trunk, trunk segments. Wow! Uh, don't use big big value here because uh, we will use a displacement in your material so it will create more uh, polygon and uh, we don't need so we don't need to have so many many polygon on your uh, preview perspective uh, yes and the preview view now I don't want to have my trunk overlapping uh, itself so I have these parameters to trick this if I use trunk wave waves X it will do that okay and if I use in Z it will move on the left and the right. So it's really nice to to disoverlap. I don't know if uh, if this word exists but I, I think you understand. Okay. Now it's really nice because I can create my sphere in the, the center of the scene. I prefer to move my my tree. Okay. And it's a uh, it's really simple, it's really nice. Okay, the next thing is to add more displacement to have something more realistic. Okay, it's not really really important, but I, I like to uh, trick it. Uh, if I disable my 
bend trunk, we can see that you have a branch only at the top of your uh, tree. Uh, for this artwork, art, art, art work, it's not good. So I will move my branch. You have one parameter in branch level one, and this is prune parent. If you uh, put zero, you will have the first uh, branch at the base of your tree, just here. If you increase, all your branch will go to the top of the tree. So put a very, very low value. And if you want to have more branch, and it's uh, the case, you just have to increase this option. Mm. Okay, I think this value is nice, but I have a problem, uh, my branch are too big, so I just have to um, diminue, to diminue, translate, decrease, okay, uh, I have to decrease these parameters, okay, and branch level 2 is this branch, are very big, so I will decrease it too. Okay, branch 3, and to decrease it. Uh, if you look your preview, and if you uh, do a render, you will see a big difference. It's cause... Oh, damn. Okay, go. Go. Okay, you see that you have more leaves. It's just for one reason, because if you go in the three parameters, you have viewport level and, and render level. So here it's very nice uh, per sh number for these options, because we can see our leaves, so we can work on it. And in the render, we have the, the good number of leaves. You can increase the, the resolution of your tree by increasing these parameters. Okay. But you can also add more leaves with leaf multiplier, for example. So test and choose the option you prefer. Okay, I think here it's a really nice. Uh okay, I think now it's perfect. Um, now, no, 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 now I have to add some uh, wind for the animation. If you look my video in Motion Designers Community, you're welcome in this Facebook group, of course. You can see that the animation is really, really realistic, really, really realistic, and uh, it's uh, just basic uh, parameters in hyperwind. So you just have to check it, and when you hit play, uh, you can see the animation. It's very hard to your computer to animate lots of tree, so I suggest you to create uh, instances of your tree. If you want to create a forest, you have to create five, three tr di different tree and create some instances of these tr those trees. Uh, it will be uh, more fast and you can check render time wind so the wind is uh, working but not in the preview but it's working um, in the in the render you can see the, the positions are uh, different between the preview and the render one time this option w did not work and uh, I had not no animation on my render, so be careful, look after your uh, render if you have your animation at the beginning or not. Okay, now we have to create your uh, our material with Octane. So uh, for this uh, material, I have to set up um, my scene. To set up my scene, I always do the same things, so it's to go in Octan. Oh damn. I do not have Octan in this version. Okay. So I um I come back. So here I am for the the next part. So uh, I have to use so uh, Octan render and I have to load my scene. 
to create my base setup, it's basically always the same. So I just have to create a octane daylight to have my basic uh, lighting. Okay. And I have to create an HDRI environment and load a basic HDR. So I will go in my MediaTek and um, I have my HDRI lab uh, HDRI pack. So you can uh, find it for free on Google. And I use this uh, Topanga Forest HDR. So I drag and drop. And it's nice. We can't see our uh, HDR because um, we you have to check this box. And now ooh, it's awesome. Now you can set up your um, sun sun power, for example, and you have the illumination of your uh, HDR. Now I will de-zoom and search my sun on my HDR and I think the sun is here and I have to put my uh, sun at the same place so I just have to rotate it you have here a straight line and you just have to put this point near the camera okay like this and now it's really easy and you see the sun on your sphere on your screen and the sun you have to put it here so perfect it's here okay now i have to set up the size of my um, sun to uh, have the same size and so i go here here sun size and increase this value and big sun i think this value is nice now if i check my setup it's really nice and you have a coherent uh, lighting on your object. Uh, you can uh, increase the turbidity if you have more cloud, uh, more cloudy lighting. Okay. I will decrease it uh, to it's nice. Okay. Now I have to uh, work my material. So I will create an octane material. Create Octane Material Glossy Node Editor. I will replace, so I click and drag and uh, hold Alt to replace, and I will load my image. So I will go on the plugin textures and I will use Bark 11. I load it, I put it in Diffuse, I put it in Worthless, I put it in Bump. And I put it in displace. So I put my displace. Always put 0 0.1, uh, 0.5 here, and in amount 0 or 1. I put my uh, texture. Okay. So now I will zoom a little, and I will increase the amount. Okay. In three, you can see you have very big displace. So now the big, the main big problem is uh, the distortion of our texture here. So I will just select my forester here and I have my trunk. So I export my OBJ uh, to uh, launch uh, R18 uh, and not uh, R19 for uh, Octane. So the branch will look uh, ugly, but we'll focus on the trunk, okay? But you have two different material selection with Forester, so you can be able to disable the displacement for the branch and only for the trunk. And I recommend you to have different amounts for your displacement between trunk and branch. Okay, so um, let's focus on the trunk. So I select my material and I have to decrease the value on Y. Okay, decrease, decrease, decrease. And now I think it's it's a nice scaling. Okay, and if I go in my live viewer, I have a better result. 
Okay, so here the problem is uh, we have only spikes and not nice displacement. You know, we have very very nice options in Octane Render. Uh, it's version uh, 3.06.2. We have here a filter radius. So in filter tip we will use Gaussian and we will use uh, mm, three uh, in filter radius. The Gaussian is a type of blur. Box is another type of blur. Gaussian will be more smooth than box and more uh, will take more time to calculate. And the filter radius is the strong, uh, the strong, uh, the, the strong of your blur. Okay, so now we have to have only your bark. So I can increase my amount, and maybe increase the level of details. It's not, uh, if you take big value here, you'll have lots of spikes again, so don't take big, big value. And uh, you have to trick all this value to have the nice selection for a nice uh, render. You have the bump to add some little details, the displacement to add the big transformation, the big displacement, okay? the roughness to have this uh, blur reflection. So here the bark are uh, wet. So I will use a color correction on the roughness to modify it. So if I increase the gamma, you can see another type of, uh, of roughness. So can increase or just um, trick the brightness. Okay, so you can see some uh, firefly. If you increase uh, your render uh, samples, it will be uh, disabled. You can use a glossy, so you have to trick the roughness. Uh, play with it. Oops. Or use this value. Uh, but uh, you can uh, use a diffuse. Uh, I recommend you to play with uh, the index, put a very low value when you are in glossy with uh, this roughness. Uh, it's a uh, it's better render. Okay, index is the refraction of your object. M more this value will be big, more the light will bounce in your eyes, so it will be more luminate. Okay. And if you put one, it's uh, like a glass. So here it's nice, uh, nice render. Okay, uh, that's for the the tricks of your of your back. Okay, we can see it's uh, it's nice, and you can change really easily the style of your of your tree mm. it looks like poo okay nice <laughs> now uh, I will work on my leaves so it's uh, really simple for uh, this you just have to go in materials and open the live DB and in op uh, live DB if you go in material organic and vegetation, you will have some basic materials which are very nice. So, you just have to take the the best uh, the, the leaves who looks like the one you want. Okay, you don't care about the, the form of the leaves, the alpha. You will be able to change it, but of the th thickness, uh, you care about the thickness of the leaf. Okay, here I will uh, use the birch leaf SSS, so I click on it, I download it, it's very fast, and I will replace the material. And here you can see that behind your leaves, with the basic materials you have big shadows, okay, it's very dark, and with the new, sh um, new materials with SSS, you will have less shadows, so when you will have l 
so many leaves, you will have better uh, lighting in these leaves. Okay, so uh, to modify this, you just have to go in the node editor, okay, and change all this image. You have uh, all you want in uh, the texture tab, okay. You have some pet petal, okay, uh, some grass, or you can go on. Um, Google to find more uh, more alpha. Okay, so uh, that's all. Uh, seriously, that's all. Okay, you can see here the, the SSS, and I never play with this value. I don't know if it's changing something because your leaves are a two D plane. You see, it's uh, no difference. Okay, so I hope you like this part one. Now uh, you have to go in the part number two to learn how I, uh, I, I created my sphere on the, this kind of, um, of sphere here. So let's start.